Um, okay. Hey guys, it's Ben with Ben Fills In, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking with Ronald Oliver of Tower Light Records. Um, so, hey Ronald, thanks so much for being on my show. Yeah, no problem, Ben. And you can call um, me Tyke, man. Everybody calls me Tyke. Oh, okay. Tyke. That's my, um, my nickname, T-Y-K-E. <laughs> Um, so you, now you're not only a music producer, um, but you're the head of your own record record label, Tower Light, um, Tower Light Records. Yeah. Um, so Tower Light um, produces markets uh, and distributes positive music worldwide. Um, yeah. What kind of artists are on your label? Wow, that's a good question. We have uh, about almost 10 artists now and a lot of contributors. Okay. Um, so Lady C is a gospel songwriter and producer and singer. Um, we also have Joshua Dalton, who's a, a trumpet trumpet player who I've produced. Um, and we have um, uh, boys. Uh, it's hard to think about stuff uh, so quickly. Um, and then um, Ken and Tyke is a music production team. Me and my partner Ken Broomfield. Um, I have a artist uh, named um, Enrico or EJ who was in Nambia and he's a rapper. Um, also uh, I've produced uh, a a artist um, um, Brett Hutari who is a guitar player, acoustic guitar player. Um, we have uh, uh, Aaron Cushenberry who is a music producer who does instrumental tracks uh, for us. We also have um, tracks from Oliver and Brownie, which is half of me and another guy named Jeremy Brownie. We've done instrumental and easy listening and soundtracks. Um, Latanya Smiley is a gospel singer um, that we've uh, that we've put out there. And also Dexter Wilford um, is a gospel artist that we've put out there. And um, God, I'm going to miss somebody. Good grief. I don't know you're going to start out that way, but um, I, I know I'm going to miss somebody, but if I can remember, but we've had, uh, there's a guy named Chris Bowden who has uh, contributed music to, uh, to our, um, our portfolio, who is a uh, guitar player and uh, songwriter. And uh, God, I know I'm missing somebody. I'm, I can't think of everybody right now, but it's a it's a it's an eclectic mix too. Is really it really is yeah. so. Um. So where did you really get your start in music? I started out on the drums, man. That's how oh, I cut. Okay. That's yeah. That's how I found you. Um. I was interested in you around ten. I was about ten years old. Uh. In the black church where it's very competitive. At least it was back then. Um. And uh, then I, I started experimenting um, from there my because my mom was over the youth choir and they were really, 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 really good. So I was on the drums and then I moved over to the bass guitar and then I played a little lead guitar as well. And I tried to play everything. I really did. I tried to play everything in high school. Uh, I was mostly a drummer, but I tried to play everything because I moved over to keys when I was about 15, 16 years old. My mom and uh my mom and my sister and my brother are all musicians and all of my cousins are musicians. So um, I started pretty young. I started really, really young uh, in music and uh, did a little bit of everything, man. And all through high school and after high school even as well. But I got into music production probably in early 20s, my early 20s. OK. Um, and yeah, you have over 20 years experience um, in demo song um, in demo recordings. Yeah, we, uh, you know, when we started out music production, um, you know, we we did demos for everybody. You know, we just, you know, people come by the studio, we would just do the songs that they wanted and demo, 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 demos. And then eventually we did start getting into um, uh, commercials. That's how we kind of started out. We did okay. a Kentucky Fried right. Chicken commercial. We did a... Um, we did a banks, you know, banking commercial associated bank and and uh, and uh, we did, you know, all kinds of local uh, businesses, commercials, because uh, that's when radio was really, really hot. So not so much now, even though radio is still viable, but it was, you know, back then it was a lot of lot of that. And so then uh, we, we, we even got into children's music. I mean, I have an educational children's music line. 
um, from from back in the day that we still and we still sell those those uh that, those tracks of music. Okay. So um yeah, that we we just did a lot of that kind of stuff, and then we of course we started doing our own thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you guys are in Milwaukee. Um. What is the music scene like there? Um. You know, Milwaukee is like the one of the best kept secrets. Uh, in in the in the country, it's very talented. A lot of talent, man, especially among the the uh, church musicians, and um, it's a lot of music more than you would think. Uh, Eric Benet is coming out has come out of here. Uh, Al Jarreau has come out of Milwaukee. Um, Tank, uh, who was an R and B singer, came out of Milwaukee. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a couple of rappers uh, as well that have come out of Milwaukee that you would you really wouldn't think about, but it is quite talented uh, yeah. in Milwaukee yeah. um, uh, and a lot more um, music here than people think until they get here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the pandemic um, that's happening right now it's had a huge effect on music. Um, how has it really affected you guys? In you know, of, like, distribution. Yeah, that's a really good question, man. Actually. Uh, there has been a ray of, ray of sunshine out of this pandemic. For us, it actually increased our um, viewership and sales. I mean, most of our oh, most cool. of our um, followers and most of the people that find out about us find us through social media platforms. And so, because we focus on positive music, and positive music is just not happy music. We yeah, define yeah. it as music that just kind of enhances the um human spirit and adds value to the hum to to mankind and you know anything yeah, that's gonna yeah. make you think anything that's gonna make you um feel good anything's gonna cause some kind of good emotion or or uh some kind of thought provoking emotion is kind of the way we defined it so we kind of made that term our own and when people find that they're looking for positivity right now so yeah. Yeah. It really it actually it actually was a blessing in disguise, even though, you know, it's very tragic uh, people out there that have died that are dying from it and been affected by yeah. it. So I don't yeah. take that lightly. But for us, it it, it actually uh, really boosted our um our fanship and our and our supporters and people finding us. Yeah. Um. So what are some of the trends that you're currently seeing in the music industry? Wow, that's really a good question. Um, music now uh, is so wow. It's really eclectic right now. Um, one of my one of my favorite artists is a young man named Jacob Collier, and I don't know if you know about him, but he's um, I forget he must be about twenty three, twenty four years old, and this kid just is breaking all the rules in music. I mean, he's just doing. Uh, and what I really like about what's going on now is you can be as creative as you want to be. Um, one of the yeah. reasons why I wanted to start an independent label is because I wanted to have my own ideas about things and, and be able to do them when I wanted to. So there's no cap on how we feel about anything or there's no cap on, um, you know, what we want to do. Our imagination is as big as it wants to be. Um, because we don't have to be we don't have to be subject to any kind of rules yeah, or yeah. anything like that. So it's today, I think it's kind of the same way. It's there is still the corporate, um, uh, you know, way of doing things, uh, you yeah, know, with the bigger yeah. labels and that kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. they do have a certain structure. But even then, it's it's gotten much more wide open. OK, um, so do you have any advice for maybe some younger musicians that want to get their start in the music industry? Um, you know, know your craft, mm -hmm. you know, no music. Uh, you know, I get I get kids that tell me, hey, I do beats and I go, OK, that's cool. Um, what else do you know? <laughs> and they, okay. sometimes that's the only lane that they know. And yeah. It's hard for me to, um, well, I t I'll, I'll just say it like this. I encourage them to not only know what they like, but know about music in general and yeah, everything. Yeah. So I listen to everything. If you go to my playlist, I mean, I got probably yeah. Funkadelic and then the next track is Mozart. I mean, and everything mm -hmm. in between Elton John and then I have Drake. And then, you know, I, I listen to everything because music and sound uh, is what I'm interested in and creativity. So I'm not limited. Uh, and 
that's the biggest thing. Don't limit yourself. Know about things that you that you haven't discovered yet and be open to music and sounds and creativity that you haven't even thought about or discovered. And right now in this world with YouTube and all the other ways you can find it, man, yeah. it's just no, yeah. it's no limit. So don't limit yourself. That's my biggest, that's probably my biggest advice. Yeah. yeah. Um. So where can the people watching um see more of you and Tower Light? Yeah, um, we're, we're, all, we're all over the place, man. So you can go to our YouTube channel, um, just put in Tower Light Records in the uh, in the search engine, and you'll see you'll probably see over ninety videos and clips wow. Wow. of our music. And um, you can um, go to, or you can put in um, Ron Tyke Oliver, which is me. Um, T Y K E. Instagram is really growing. Go to at Tower Light Records. Um, you can't miss that. Um, and uh, my 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 bigger um, multimedia company is TRP, which is Tower Light Records, Rushmore Music, and the oh, Prayer cool. Network for the Prayer Network for musicians. So uh, you'll see that link on Tower Light Records. Just go to Tower Light Records on Instagram. Um, you'll find us on YouTube. You'll find us at Twitter. If you put Tower Light Records or Google us, you'll find us all over the place. Okay. Um. Well, I think we're almost out of time today. Um. It was okay. so nice talking with you. Yeah, Brian. I mean, uh, Brian. Uh, I'm sorry, Ben. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Ben. Okay. Yeah, man. You keep drumming, man. I'm a drummer, man, at heart. Yeah. So that's how I find you. That's how I found you, man. And I got interested in what you were doing because you were so young. Thank you. Um. Well, yeah. For everybody's um. For everyone that's watching, go follow Tower Light Records. Um. On Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. Um. Like Tyke said, search them up on Google. Um, and then please go follow me on Instagram at Ben fills in. Um, it was so nice talking with you today. Yeah, Ben. Nice. Uh, nice talking with you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right. You take it easy. You and I'll be supporting bye. you. All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.